the next step in the process of machining the banjo is to cut the shallow tapers that you see here on the drawing. It's a really shallow taper actually. When I tried to measure it off the original, I had to guesstimate a little bit and the angle came out to be 2.29 or 2.3 degrees, somewhere in that ballpark, which is a pretty shallow angle. And I, since I don't have anything like a tilting table or anything like that, I had to come up with a unique solution in my opinion. And that is, um, what's well, a three-part jig. So the first part is just a flat piece of bar stock. I'll have two clearance holes drilled in it, five-eighths holes. That'll let me mount two half-inch 13 bolts to bolt it down to the table and align it. And then what it is is the, you can see here I have two pins of varying diameters that will be machined to closely fit into these two holes. And as you can see here, these holes are exactly offset, ideally by exactly six, six inches and by exactly 0.232 inches. And when I do so, we'll put this in quotes, assuming everything lines up, the banjo will go over top and clamp fast to the big one. And it'll be aligned by this one, which will come up through the slot. And those two pins, along with just you know regular clamps on the mill table, will hold it down and in the proper orientation. So all I have to do is just run past with a, a cutter and it'll cut the taper on this side. And I can just flip it over and do the same thing. So I've already got a piece of stock squared up on the mill. So let's go over and punch some holes in it and bore the holes to size. Now that I got the flat bar finished, well, I guess I should show it to you guys. So there's the flat bar. Got all the holes drilled. The two important ones are um, bored to size to a close tolerance. So the next step is to actually start making the pins. So 
I'm going to start with the small one that will fit into the slot. This is just some hot rolled 4140 that I've had for quite a while. So the first thing is going to be facing it and then turning it to size. Well, I remember why I don't use this 4140, because this hot rolled stuff turns like crap. But I've got the pin that goes in the plate down to size, maybe measured it with the mic and it's about half a thousandth under. You can see it kind of sticks a little bit. But it goes in, so now the next step is to part this off and turn it around and uh, do the pin that actually will fit up into the banjo. I've got a piece of 12L14 chucked up now to make the large pin and this should machine substantially easier because it's a easier to machine piece of material. Um, so let's get to it. This should be the final cut to bring it down to diameter, then all I'll have to do is chamfer it and I'll be done with the jig.
With all the jig making out of the way, I can now get down to the business of machining the actual banjo. So I've gone ahead, I've bolted the uh, flat bar down to the, um, the table, and I've indicated it squared to the table, or I should say parallel to the table, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, this is how the um, large pin goes in, and this is the small one. Let me grab the part. It'll fit on like so. Push down and then clamp it fast. Got some little pieces of scrap here just to span the, um, the recess or the hole, however you want to look at it. We'll put the, um, some studs in place. I wish these were a little wider, so they spanned more of the T-slot, but this should be good enough. Don't need to put a death grip on it. This one's over top the uh, T slot evenly. Okay, so I'll tighten these down and I'll bring you in close once I bring the head down. I've got the head down as far as it needs to go. Everything is locked down. I've uh, touched off here on this corner. How I did it was I just took a Sharpie, marked the corner, and then just, you know, moved the X and Y back and forth just till I barely touched it. Um, it looks like everything has the clearance that it needs, so this should be good to go. Hopefully the setup works. Um, I've got the depth of cut set to 50 thousandths. I don't think that's too aggressive, assuming I keep the feed slow enough for this. So hopefully this is a rigid enough jig. So that was the final pass on the second side, so this one should be done, hopefully. Get it off of here, I'll take it over to the bench and measurement and see how I did. So I deburred the part, cleaned it up, and uh, measured it. And I'm within tolerance, thankfully. Um, the target on this edge was 1.2 inches, plus or minus 10 thousandths, since it's a, you know, a cosmetic, cosmetic thing. And I came in at 1.204 inches, so I was within tolerance, and I was actually pretty close to the to the target, you know, considering all of the 
places where I could have inaccuracy, so I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna do the other two off camera, and then I think that'll be it for this video, and then when I come back next time, I will start working on the studs.